Hello everybody, Jumbo, Habarienyu. Welcome and welcome to Baraka Reality Media. My name is Sharon aka Wabaraka and you are welcome to this channel. I told you the other day I was going to have a segment where we'll be talking about safeguarding and in today's video we are going to be talking about safeguarding in that sector. So follow me, let's listen to this story that I am about to talk about. <laughs> Jumbo, Habarienyu, welcome and welcome back to Baraka Reality Media. My name is Sharon aka Wabaraka and you are welcome to Baraka Reality Media. I did say that I'm going to be having a segment where I'll be talking about safeguarding issues and in today's video I'm here to talk about safeguarding. That's one of my strong aspects in my life and I want to talk about this issues because these are things that are happening on a daily basis in most of our homes and some of us are not aware so we're going to be bringing that awareness to create that awareness so that you can keep yourself safe and keep your children safe so if you're there and you have not subscribed to my channel please do not forget to subscribe to my channel don't also forget to hit that red notification bell there or oh, actually it's not a red notification bell it's a black one <laughs> The subscribe button is red, so subscribe down there on that red subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. So I have chosen um, to talk about one woman who really inspires not only me but inspires many people and she has been an icon she has been somebody that people have looked up to i particularly admire her i really really admire her i admire her strength i admire her courage i admire the empire that she and her husband has created or have made and i admire how she loves her children how she believes in marriage so she will fight for what she believes in with all her strength without the care of what people are saying out there i'm talking about none other than mrs sarah kabu a lot of you if you are in kenya will know her and the reason why i want to talk about this is because i've been following on social media and i have seen a lot of dramas that has been going on between her, her husband and baby mama's uh, issues. And I just wanted to address this in my safeguarding sector in my content. First of all, Sarah, I just want to tell you that we are praying for you. You are a very courageous woman. You are a very strong woman and many women out here admire you because of how you carry yourself i know that there has been um, a lot of issues recently because of what you have exposed that has been going on in your marriage and i just wanted to address that because these are issues that happen to many homes not just to sarah's home now i listened to an interview that sarah did recently and in that interview it helped me to understand where the problems in her marriage could have stemmed from 
sometimes it is always go back to the root of the problem and go back to the history to understand why some of the behaviors happen. For those of you who know me, I also speak very openly about me being a, a single mother and the journey that obviously has led me into a, a divorcee, which is a series of things that I'm going to be talking about. But in today's topic, allow me to concentrate on Sarah Kabu's issue because it's going to help many of you open up your eyes and have a full understanding. Number one, for those of you who are celebrating the downfall, I pity you because there is nothing as painful as someone who is going through divorce or separation and to see people mocking you or celebrating your downfall, that is wicked, it is evil, and I do not condone that at all. So if you're there and you're saying that you're celebrating because of the breakup, I pity you. Especially if you are a woman and you have children yourself, I really pity you. This is nothing to celebrate about. This is a woman in pain. The husband is equally in pain because when you go through a separation, both parties hurt equally. So for those of you who are writing things carelessly without thinking the impact that that is going to have on this couple, I really, really feel sorry for you. Now, I was talking about the interview that I had Sarah did in one platform. And she spoke about how she herself was raised as a child, raised by her two parents, mom and dad, and they lived in a marriage for a long time before her parents sadly passed away. A lot of what we bring into our relationships when we finally get married as adults is what we have learned in our own journey of being children. So our own childhood is what shapes the kind of parents that we become. And this is what Sarah picked in her own childhood when she was being raised by her parents she picked up those positive values of a mother and a father raising their children together close-knit family staying together and those are the same values that she walked into her own marriage with raising her children the best way she knew i will tell you one thing and i have said this in the past children learn from observation what they observe is what they take and is what they believe that it should be the truth because the environment that children grow in is what shapes them to be the adult that they become in the future so sarah was raised by her parents she said and her mom and her dad kept her and her siblings together as in they were not even going to visit relatives or going out to visit other people. They just kept as a close-knit family. So when she walked into her marriage, although she knew that Simon had other children, she walked into that marriage thinking in her mind, I'm going to keep my family closely knit together like I saw my mom and my dad do because that's what kept their marriage standing. And there is nothing wrong with that because that is what she believes keeps the marriage standing. On the other hand, I have not heard Simon's story, but from what Sarah said, Simon has two other biological children with two other women. Now, I don't know the kind of environment that he grew up in, apart from what obviously they have shared on social media about them meeting and starting this business together and he was a tout and all that. I don't know the values that he came into marriage with but we are talking about somebody who had two other children in different relationship maybe that is what he had seen from his own upbringing it was okay to have children and if the relationship does not work walk away and find another relationship i'm just giving an example i really don't know and please do not quote me on this because i don't know simon's childhood I'm only giving this information based on what I have had Sarah talk about, which has helped me to understand where the problem in their family could be coming from. A lot of times we blame the devil for a lot of things, but you know what? The devil sometimes is not even there. So, you know, there are times the devil will be walking and you'll be like, devil, 
you'll be like, Allah, you guys have called me into this and I'm not even involved. What now? What now have I done? <laughs> anyway, serious? let's be serious. So, Sarah knew that Simon had two children from a different relationship. She walked into that marriage knowing that there were two children from a different relationship or different two other different relationships that Simon had with these two other women. For me, the first mistake that I have seen that could have led to the marital problems in their family is the fact that Sarah did not allow Simon to be a father to those two other children. Those two other children are innocent and they had no reason to be punished or to not have a relationship with their father purely because Simon has married Sarah. And the reason important, and I'm talking to a lot of people because there are many people who have walked from one relationship to another. You have entered into a relationship with somebody who have children. It could be a man who has children. It could be a woman who has children. If you walk into it and you know there are children and those children are not having a relationship with the other parent, you are equally as a failure as the parent who has failed those children. Sending support money to the children is not enough. If Simon and Sarah knew about these two other children, the children were supposed to have been part of the family, Sarah's and Simon's family, from day one. Why? Because these are blood children to Simon. They may have nothing to do with Sarah. They have everything to do with Simon. But now Sarah has her own children. She has come and she has had her own children. So Sarah, those two other children that your husband has connects you directly with those other children because now they become what? Stepchildren to your children. And sibling relationship is equally important. It is very important to allow children to grow up together because children are innocent. They did not ask to be born. And whatever issues has happened between two parents who are adult should not interfere with the relationship between their parents. Sadly, a lot of people, when they break up, they bring children into the picture and children are the ones that end up suffering. And children are innocent. They really should not be involved in the domestics between two parents who cannot get along. So if you are there and you get into a relationship with somebody who has children, I am kindly appealing to you. Allow those children to have a relationship with their father. Even if another man comes or another woman comes, there is nobody that can replace parental love. And why we are seeing a lot of issues going on is because there is a cycle that never gets broken. So now those children grow up as bitter children because they don't have a relationship with one parent. It is very important that children have a relationship with both their parents. Of course, unless there is a safeguarding issue, like if the other parent is abusive or, you know, like he's or she is beating the children uh, right, left and center and p placing them at significant risk, then of course I would not encourage that relationship. It's better for the children not to even be involved with that other parent if the other parent is being abusive. If Even if the parent is abusive emotionally, that is enough to cut the link or the communication between that parent and, and the children. Okay, legally it is allowed. There is no reason to allow a parent who is abusive to children to have a relationship with those children because they're just going to, to get damaged further. They get damaged because of the separation. If you allow them to have contact with a parent who is abusive, it's only going to compound and it's going to add to more harm to those children 
if you allow that content to carry on sometimes it's best not to allow that content but if the parent is not abusive there is no reason why children should not have a relationship with both parents whether they are together or whether they are separated and that is where it comes in something that is called co-parenting co-parenting is very important because when children see you as parents co-parenting together even when you live separately your children are going to grow into healthy adults if your children are observing and they are seeing you fight all the time even when you're separated you're still having issues you're damaging your children and these children are going to grow as damaged children even into their relationships even into their adulthood they are going to be damaged children so for me mistake number one that i saw is the fact that sarah knew about these children and she did not allow the husband simon to have an open relationship with his children from the previous relationship in an open way and she spoke very well and she said well i, will, I used to allow him to support the children but he used to support it kando that is wrong you're supposed to be aware that these children are being supported you're supposed to be the one who should have been encouraging contact with those other children so that they can also have contact with their own children. It doesn't mean because those children are not part of Simon's life anymore, they're outcast. No, they're still part of his blood. They're still part of his family. They're, they're still part of him. And if they're part of him, they're part of you because of your own children. That is the reason why all these pressures because in my mind i can only imagine simon really loved those other children because as a parent you love your children regardless of what and especially because now he has become a successful person he would like to share that success with his children because he knows it is his responsibility he has brought these children into earth and he wants to ensure that he gives the best to his own children i think any responsible parent will feel bad to see their children with another relationship suffer whilst the children that he has with the current partner are thriving and having everything they they can afford and the others are not so i'm putting myself in simon's mind and i can see him wanting to support his children from the previous relationship because he has become now successful but sarah is standing here as a barrier and saying no I've put my foot down and this is not happening. That is a mistake in my opinion. And I'm not condemning you, Sarah. I'm only saying this because I know you didn't know that. You went into your marriage with the values that you had picked from your own childhood, from your own parenting by your own parents. That is what you took and that is what you believed was the truth. I'm coming here and... I'm telling you because this is what I, I do as part of my work and I have a full understanding of the impact children have when parents separate and when they don't even get to see the departed parent or the absent parent just because a relationship has ended. Me included, me, 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 myself included. I, I am not an escape to this. My children have been impacted the same way as many other children out there because of the separation or the divorce that myself I underwent. So when I speak about these things, I'm not only speaking to you people out there. I'm also speaking because this is something that I have gone through. I have experienced it and I know it. I have seen it. I have seen it with my children. So that's one thing. And um, the other thing is when you sarah was speaking about that the problem started when you started gifting your own children of course you did that out of your own goodwill to gift your own children i would do that if i became very successful of course i would want to um to gift my children because i want to prepare them i want to give them a good life in the future i want to have a good solid foundation for them in the future but now you are doing this, but you're doing this with somebody, a husband who has two other children. And in his mind, he's thinking, mm, why am I doing this? And I've got other children that have not done the same to them. And those other children actually came before your children, Sarah. So this man was in conflict. He's conflicted because he doesn't know what to do. 
he wants to support all his children, but then he also wants to please you. He does not want to hurt you, Sarah. He loves you. Clearly, he does love you because all the things that he have done on social media, there isn't any man that would do that if he does not love his wife. But he equally, part of him, belongs to his two other children. So that conflict is what causes all the confusion. Sometimes it's not even narcissism here. It is because someone is so conflicted and they cannot be able to make a decision. They're not able to separate their thoughts, their love for their wife and their love for their children. And that conflict in itself can cause domestic abuse, whether it is emotionally, whether it is financially, that can cause a lot of conflict in any relationship. So if you're there, I'm talking to you and you are in a, a relationship with somebody that has children, I beseech you, please encourage your partner that has children from a different relationship to have relationship with their other children. Because tell you what, chances are if he is not or if she is not having a relationship with the previous children that they had, it is going to be a repetition of the same cycle. Chances are they will do the same thing to you because they haven't unlearned that it is not okay to do that. Somebody will have to intervene and show this other person to relearn what they know because they do that not because they know because that is what they believe is the the, the way to go if i break up with my partner then i break up with my children perhaps that is what they think should be happening but you as a partner that has come in are the one that is going to have to teach your partner to unlearn that behavior that they think is the correct thing and teach them the right way. If you're not doing that, you're not doing justice for yourself and for your own children as well. Because if you have your own children, they'll also be victim of the same. It does not take long before that cycle repeats, if it is not broken. Right, so that's all I wanted to share. I will come back with more information and I really wish you, Sarah and Simon, the very best. I hope you can solve your issues. I hope you can speak to somebody who understands some of these things. You've built uh, an empire together and I can understand when Sarah was saying that she is feeling hurt because she and Simon has put in a lot of effort to build bonfire adventures together. And for her, I can understand why she feels why should somebody else benefit from my sweat? I completely understand. But remember, Sarah, you walked into that marriage knowing very well that Simon had children. So your success is his success. His success is his children's success. All his children. So no matter how much effort you have put in, if you knew that he had children, that is a choice that you made when you got married to him. And choices have consequences. I wish you nothing but the best. And I really hope I will see that marriage stand. Because you are a lesson to many other women who watch you. Me included. We watch you and you inspire us so much. And I really wish you nothing but the best. And until the next video guys, for now, Baraka. Mm -hmm.